welcome to the session of continuity where we will be learning continuity of a function you must have played with many types of graphs till now have you ever observed the curves that they follow can you make these curves without lifting your pencil or you had to lift your pencil up well the idea of continuity of a function lies in the making of graph for that function suppose if you draw a graph and here you had to lift your pencil like you are going like this and there is no need to lift your pencil or you are not breaking the flow of this curve hence the function is classified as a continuous function but if you are drawing another graph and the graph goes something like this now for this curve you had to lift your pencil up or the flow is breaking at this point hence this type of function is called this continuous function let us take the function that is fx is equals to x square plus 1 now the graph of for this function would be a parabola whose vertex is at y equals to 1 so it would be something like this now we have to check the continuity of that function suppose at x equals to 2 we have to check the continuity so the point x equals to 2 would be somewhere here so we have to check whether the function is continuous or not at x equals to 2 now the first condition that we discussed was the value of function should exist at that point that means f2 should exist so if we go on to find f2 then it would be equal to 2 the square plus 1 that is equals to 4 plus 1 that would give us 5 this means that f2 is equals to 5 now the value of function exists since 5 is also a real number now the second condition was that the limit of the function should exist at that point so if we go on to find the lhl then it would be equal to limit x tends to 2 minus of x square plus 1 that would be equal to limit h tends to 0 2 minus h d square plus 1 that would give me 4 Plus h square minus 4h plus 1, and when I put h equals to 0, so I'll get 5 as 4 plus 1 is 5. Similarly, for RHL, we have limit x tends to 2 plus x square plus 1. That would be limit h tends to 0, 2 plus h. d square plus 1 that would be 4 plus h square plus 4h plus 1 that would again give me 5 as 4 plus 1 is equals to 5 and we are putting h equals to 0 now the lhl is equals to rhl and hence we can conclude that the limit of the function exists at x equals to 2 now the last and the third condition was that the limit of the function should be equal to the value of the function at that point so talking about the third one that is lhl is equals to rhl is equals to 5 which is also equal to f2 this means the limit is equals to the value of function at that point now all the three conditions are satisfied here and we can say that the function is continuous at x equals to 2 I hope you have understood all these conditions and how can you comment on the continuity of a function. The problem we have is this equation that is x square plus curly brackets open f x minus two then curly brackets close x plus two root three minus three minus root three of f x is equals to zero, and we are given that f x is continuous for all x in real numbers, and we need to find the value of f root three. Now since f x is continuous for all x. that means 
एफ एक्स विल हैव अ डिफाइंड एंड रियल फाइनाइट वैल्यू दैट मीन्स एफ एक्स एग्जिस्ट and hence we can find the value of f root 3 if we get the value for fx so how can we find the value of fx by using this equation let's see so we have x square and if we open the bracket so we'll get plus x of fx minus 2x plus 2 root 3 minus 3 minus root 3 fx is equals to 0 now we can shift the terms of fx towards our right hand side and we'll get x square minus 2x plus 2 root 3 minus 3 is equals to root 3 fx minus x of fx now we can take fx common from right hand side and we can rearrange the terms on left hand side so that we can factorize them and we'll get x square minus 3 minus 2x plus 2 root 3 is equals to fx into root 3 minus x now this x square minus 3 can be written as x minus root 3 into x plus root 3 since this is a square minus b square so we'll have x minus root 3 and x plus root 3 from these two terms i can take minus 2 common so i'll get minus 2 into x minus root 3 here also which is equal to fx into root 3 minus x now x minus root 3 from this term and from this term can be taken out common and we will be left with x minus root 3 and inside it will be x plus root 3 minus 2 that is equal to f of x and we can write this as minus of x minus root 3 inside bracket so that we have taken minus sign common from this term now x minus root 3 on lhs will cancel x minus root 3 on rhs and we'll get if we bring this minus sign here so we'll have 2 minus root 3 minus x is equals to fx now we have got the value for our fx that is 2 minus root 3 Minus x. Now, if we put x as root three, so we'll get the value for f root three. So, putting the value in this equation, that is f x is equals to two minus root three minus x, and f root three will be equal to two minus root three minus root three. That would give me. 2 minus 2 root 3 that would be equal to 2 into 1 minus root 3 so the value for f root 3 is equals to 2 into 1 minus root 3 so this is the value for f root 3 and this is how we can deal with continuous functions i hope you are clear till now and the basic of continuity of function